Now to the volatile wildfire situation that's growing more serious by the hour. Thousands of overnight lightning strikes sparked dozens of new fires. It comes as several communities are facing evacuations, destruction and road closures. CTV's Penny Daflos starts our wildfire coverage tonight. It's a rare and chilling sight, but Williams Lake residents saw the Herculean efforts above their homes to save them from flames. It's a hard to explain, my friend, what was going through my mind. Strong wind brought a tree down on a power line Sunday, sparking a fierce fire on the edge of the city, a stone's throw from homes. Devastating is the only word I can think about when I see that. In 50 years, my residents in this community have never seen any fire that aggressive. Remarkably, no one was hurt, and while there have been more flare-ups, boys are on it again. Aerial firefighter crews have been hitting them hard, and the River Valley wildfire stands at 40 hectares. It's a very different story due south in the Fraser Canyon. Where the Shetland Creek wildfire grew by a third to 20,000 hectares and has shut down a 50-kilometer stretch of the Trans-Canada Highway with flames almost licking the roadside. Worst case scenario, town has to be evacuated uh, and uh, we go into a full firefight. The town of Ashcroft has evacuated a few more residents with most of the community now on alert. It's been very stressful. This is our third major fire since 2017. It's tough. It's like a, a, an emotional roller coaster. Those all already forced from their homes are finding strength in community while very aware of the tinder dry conditions. As we left looking behind it was just flames everywhere. We can safely say that you know we're entering into the core of wildfire season. More than 330 fires are now burning across British Columbia straining resources. A thousand firefighters are on the ground with 170 aircraft flying air support. Widespread lightning storms in the forecast are further complicating the firefight. Things like tree stability, fire behavior, uh, as well as maybe downpours that could be affecting some of those um, remote roads that we use. All eyes are on the sky. Please uh, pray for us. To see what Mother Nature will throw at us next. And Penny Daflos joins us now. Penny, it's been in a rough 24 hours. What more can you tell us about the forecasted thunderstorms? Well, Mijang, about half the province is under a thunderstorm watch or warning. The lightning is uh, bad and the wind is even worse because it can fan the flames. And that's part of the reason the Ministry of Transportation is warning travellers that provincial highways may close with little notice. So they're asking people to avoid non-essential travel to fire-affected areas because those are also evacuation routes, Mijang. All right, thanks a lot, Penny. You bet.